God be the glory, all blessings, you heard? I hope everyone is healthy, I hope everyone is, is well, I hope everyone is, you know, you know, staying out of the, the way and trying to uh, avoid going through what's going on out there. You know, right now everything that's going on is pretty serious. Um, I send my prayers to everyone. I know a lot of people that's been going through it that has dealt with some deaths and um, just know that you have my prayers. Uh, for the other ones out there, I just want to hit on something real quick. A lot of you guys are going through a tough time right now because this quarantine is forcing you to face yourself that you didn't have to do before. Like before you could you can hide behind going out partying and drinking hookah, going out to the club and, and, and partying on the weekends, but right now it's you have nothing but yourself and time. During this time you have to really figure out who you are and who you want to be seen as. You can't go your whole life, you know, trying to hide behind things of the world that's gonna protect you and that's not gonna happen. See, one thing that we do in life is that we, we find ourselves getting caught up in putting filters to different pictures or we find ourselves, you know, hanging out with a crowd that we really don't like. We find ourselves posting pictures for likes from people that we really don't even talk to. We find ourselves so caught up in a world that, that tells us that we have to be one way when we actually can be whoever we want to be. This quarantine is making you really realize who you are as a person. It's making you really realize the people that you're talking to. It's making you really realize the person that you're dating, why they haven't hit you up and why they haven't talked to you as much. People are having time now to hit slide in your DMs and tell you all types of stories and tell you, you know, you know, toxic bonding or, or, or quarantine bonding, you know, just, just for the moment. But once it's over, you know, people will go out to live in a certain life that they was living before. You have to ask yourself, you know, why is this quarantine so hard for you? You know, you have to ask yourself, what have you been avoiding your whole life? When you sit back and look back at the things that you're dealing with, and the things that you're going through, it's like the world is on standstill. You think because you post a couple of memes or post a couple of things from Shade Room that you actually know what that is? Oh, you know, I'm going to fight. You know, I, I, I'm going to keep pushing. How can you apply it to your life? What are you doing to apply it to your life? It's nothing about talking about it. You can talk about it all you want, but you can apply it. It don't mean nothing. It's easy to go out partying, escaping from reality, and being distracted. You being distracted the whole time? I ain't copy. Cool, but it's not doing anything for you. Only thing that's happening is that time is going by. You look up a year past, you looked up three years past, you looked up five years past, and nothing has changed. The only thing that really changed is probably your body count. The only thing that really changed is probably people that you were dating. The only thing that changes is you're probably putting on more and more baggage of things that you haven't dealt with. I know I hear people say like, you know, well, I, could, I could get through things and get past things without having to deal with my past. I disagree. If you don't deal with your history, all you're going to do is repeat itself in the future. We've learned that from ourselves. We learned that from history lessons as well. If you don't deal with certain things, history will repeat itself over and over and over again. During this quarantine, you have such a tough time because you have to dig deep. You have an argument with yourself that you didn't want to have. You have a conversation with yourself that you did not want to have. Things that you were not ready for. And the thing about it is, is right now you have to deal with it. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, what have I been doing? What is my life about? All I'm going to be is a hookah mommy, a party promoter. All I'm going to do is do this and do that. Now, it's nothing against people that's, you know, getting their bag and, you know, doing what they got to do. If you guys are doing that, copy, cool, but what else are you doing? Are you escaping from reality and telling yourself that what you're doing in your life and what you're doing for yourself is actually good? You're actually happy or actually living a facade and doing this for social media. Social media has gotten us so caught up in, in the things of, of, of likes and comments that we're losing ourselves. Social media is almost like a drug. You double tap to fill your vein when you try to do any other drug, but you double tap just to get a like. Like we're so caught up in trying to, to live a life on social media that's not our life inside. What happens when you go to sleep? What dreams are you having? What's, what's going on in your subconscious? What's talking to you? Who's talking to you? Ask yourself. You keep saying, oh, I can't deal with this person. I can't deal with this person. I can't date this person. I can't date this person because you know, they're just making me unhappy. Why are you attracting these type of people? What is it about yourself inside that you're not seeing? What are you running from? This quarantine is making you call on a lot of things that you didn't want to deal with, but you're going to have to deal with them now. Because when the world opens back up, who will you be? What, what are you doing with this time? I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's killing me as well. Like I'm, I'm calling into question a lot of things about myself, you know, who I am as a man and what I want to be known for. But what are you doing as well? I'm not coming on here just, you know, giving you guys this advice and not living it myself. Yeah, I think about it all the time. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. All times of nights. This one-on-one -on -one that you're having with yourself is long overdue.
<laughs> this this one on one that you have with yourself is long overdue. Cause guys ain't gonna tell you, girls ain't gonna tell you. They just probably try to lay with you and try probably trying to spend time with you. You know, your friends ain't gonna tell you because they really don't know about themselves. They over here, you know, living a facade because they see you living a facade. Birds of a feather flock together. You ain't got no aspirations, no goals. You ain't got no real tangible, you know, truth in your life. Like, what are you doing? This quarantine is bothering you. Because all you're going to do is wake up, look at social media, and then go back to sleep. I mean, what, what are you doing for yourself? How are you changing? This quarantine is what you needed for yourself to grow and be better. This is the time to be better. Like, I could come on here and be BSing with you guys and be like, oh, you know, everything will be fine. You'll be good. You'll be great. No. No. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Let's stop capping. Just because you follow motivational piece sneakers and just because you look at these type of posts don't mean that's your life. How are you applying it? Most people be like, oh, you know, I, I say words and I, I speak words of this and I speak words of that, but don't put nothing behind it. You speaking words is just a wish without a plan. You're not putting anything to it. But we sit here and say that we want this life and we say that we want this life and we, we really don't want it. You, if you stopped yourself right now, look yourself in the mirror, would you allow your child to date who you are? As a person. Seriously, I mean, I mean, obviously, obviously sex, but I'm just saying, would you allow a person, would you allow yourself to be dated by your, your, your younger one? The friends that you call friends, yo, you know, let me ask you a question. The friends that you call friends, are they really your friends? Do you hear something in the subconscious about certain things that you put on? Yo, you, you have to change. You have, you have to be different. You have to want more. This quarantine is making you guys deal with something really deep inside. A long overdue one-on-one. -on -one. And we're here with it. We're here with it. How are you going to change the narrative? How are you going to change your life? A lot of you guys don't want to have this conversation, but we're going to talk about it. The man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, do you like what's looking back at you? You can't go outside and show your body off. You can't go outside and wear the nice clothes. During this time, we realize is that money don't matter, fame don't matter, none of that matter. People lost their jobs, people lost their households, people losing their relationships, their marriages, and all of this is coming back down on us. Who are you as a person? How are you changing? How are you, how are you becoming of who you need to become? Are you who you needed for when you was younger? I'm gonna say this all the time. Are you a better you? If you're not, then, what, <laughs> then what's, the, what's the point? I can give all the advice in the world, but rule number one, you got to do what makes you happy. Rule number one, you have to figure out what's your source of happiness. What, what, what excites you? What gets you going? If you don't have a sense of happiness, then you just live in life just to die. God didn't put us on earth, you know, just for us to die. There's so much more that we need to do. There's so much more that we have. Stop wasting time, man. Because all you got is time now. You can watch this video, shrug your shoulders. He don't know what he's talking about. He's not talking to me. He's subbing me. He talking. To... This video is not directed to any one person. This video is directed to every single body. What you gonna do to change? There's so many people counting you out. Why are you making their job easier? All in all, this is your boy, Matt Thomas, man. I just, I just want you guys to be great, man. I just want to hear the stories. I want to hear the testimonials. I want people sliding in my DMs telling me what's up. I want to hear how you changed, how, how you grew, how, some, how this became something better for you. All I want is better for you. Because obviously the people around you don't. You guys got to like, comment, and subscribe, man. If you guys aren't like, comment, and subscribing, <laughs> what else are you doing? Night. Right? It's your boy Matt Thomas. Over and out.